guys, it's Sierra. Welcome back to my channel, and Daisy is back. We're back together. We are so excited. I have Carrie Dayton here, and the last video, two videos that we did together, I just, I had the best time. I hope so you did fun. too. Yeah. And it oh, seemed like God. you guys really enjoyed it, so uh, we had to make it happen again. And one of the most requested videos I get is to try Torrid, because it's a plus size store, but they start at a double zero, which is a size 10. So as girls who are usually a size like 12 or 14, it's difficult to shop in plus size stores usually because we can't really size down since they usually start yeah. at 12 or 14. And sometimes they run bigger or run differently. But then at standard size stores, they usually end at 12 or 14. So we are like right on that cusp. And today we are gonna be going into Torrid and trying on the exact same outfits together. I'm so excited. Me too. Let's do it. Let's go. So we just got to Torrid. I'm so excited. Literally so pumped. I've never shopped at Torrid or at any just plus size I've never store. even stepped foot in it. The only thing I've ever tried is one item at Forever 21, which is a plus size. It was a zero X and it was too big. So yeah. I mean, we're gonna see. I'm very excited. So let's let's go in. Let's this is like a whole new adventure. <laughs> decided to do the same thing that we did for our last collab where we tried on the same outfits at Target where I picked three outfits and Carrie picked three outfits and we tried them on together. So walking through the store, the first thing I noticed is it just felt like a very welcoming environment. Totally. Everyone that was working there was super nice. They were checking in with us. They were complimenting us on our outfits. The they were photos awesome. on the wall were like beautiful. Mm -hmm. They didn't look photoshopped. Lots of diversity. I, I just felt very comfortable walking in there. Totally. Me too. But what was really difficult was they didn't have a lot of zeros or ones. A zero would be a size 12, a one would be a size 14, and I saw hardly any zeros, a couple double zeros, and finding ones for us was difficult too. It was really hard. There was an entire wall of jeans on one side of the store and they offered like so many different cuts and different high rise, low rise, mid rise. And I had a really hard time being able to find two of the same size 12 jeans. And in fact, I actually had to pick a pair of jeans that I didn't even really want to pick because those were the only two size 12s that they had in the entire store. And there were like dozens and dozens and dozens of pairs of the jeans on that wall. Yeah, that's really interesting. And I noticed that it was mostly threes, fours, and fives, which would be the equivalent of like a 16, an 18, and a 20. Mm -hmm. So it seems like that is mostly what they're catering towards, but we did find some really, really cute outfits that were in our size. So the first outfit was my pick, and I went with these long, distressed Bermuda shorts in a size 12, a white flowy tank top in a one, and a floral kimono in a one two. Okay, so Here we go. <laughs> I know you hate Bermuda oh. shorts, but as soon as I put these on, I was like, these are like my dream shorts. Very comfortable fit in the waist, not too loose. Thighs, perfect, stretchy. Like the distressing makes them look cuter. I agree with that. I think those are your dream shorts. They, they look cute. so good. I, 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 I just really think like this them. is so not my style. So I feel like I'm like a mom on vacation. Like, <laughs> I'm just not loving the vibe. And I think here, because this is the first thing we're trying on, I'm definitely a 12. Yeah. Whereas at some stores I can be a 14. When you shop at a standard size store, they're crafting those clothes to fit like a two or a four, yeah. and here they're crafting them to fit a plus size girl, mm -hmm. so I don't have to size up just so that I have extra room in the legs. They already have They really do legs. fit perfectly. Think about the top. I think it's fine. I mean, it's a little big on me. It's, okay, let's untuck like, it. it is, yes. So this is a one. I think we would probably need a double zero in this, yeah. but the problem is they don't have that many zeros in double zeros. I'm gonna tuck this back in because I, yeah. I really don't like how it's like swallowing me up. <laughs> Ooh, what about tied? I'm kind of here for this look. <laughs> I will say also that I think because I'm a smaller chested girl, mm -hmm. the way that this hangs down, like my side boobs pop out. And I don't get that at all. Look at that. And then what do you think of the kimono? I think it's fine. I'm not a really a kimono girl, but I think it fits great. I mean, kimonos are supposed to be like big and loose and flowy right. anyway. So. And this is a one, two, and I don't mind it being Not at all. I, I would pick kimono. this as my size as well. Me too. Mm -hmm. I think it's really interesting too in the way that like the high rise even fits both of our bodies. Like it comes up to the same place on our belly button, yet mm -hmm. it moves so completely different on both of us. Yeah. So for this outfit overall, I actually really loved the fit of the clothes apart from the tank top. It just wasn't my style at all. It was definitely more Sierra's style <laughs> and she rocked it. It looked amazing on oh, her. Thank you. It just wasn't for me, but overall for the fit, like the fit of the shorts was perfect. The tank top was too big, but once we like tied it up and tucked it in, it looked really cute. And then the kimono, it's a kimono. It looked great, but overall it wasn't like my favorite style, but the fit was good. Yeah, I think the fit on the shorts, especially for me, like those 
those shorts were amazing. I did buy those mm -hmm. and I'm so excited about them. I think the standout piece for this outfit for me was definitely the shorts. For sure. For the second outfit, this was my pick and I actually picked out a yellow, what I thought was a dress, <laughs> but it actually turns out that it was a tunic. It looked so cute on the hanger and I was so convinced, but we'll get more into that later. And I did pick this dress or tunic out in a size two because that was the only size that they had available. It was the smallest one. And I figured maybe since it was like loose and flowy, it might work. And then I paired it with a oversized denim jacket and those were only available in a size two as well. So we did kind of step it up with the sizing for this one. So let's see how that goes. Okay, so this is the dress that Carrie picked. Well, we thought it was a dress. And so we put it on. Yeah, and then I asked one of the workers and they said it's actually supposed to be a shirt, but they only have this in a two, which would be the equivalent of a 16. Mm -hmm. So it would already be a little big on us. And then on me, I actually think this is a fine dress length because I'm a little bit shorter. How do you feel? Well, because I'm a bit taller, I think it's just pushing it a little bit. I don't think I feel super comfortable, but maybe with like some denim shorts underneath just mm -hmm. for like emergencies. Mm -hmm. But I do think it looks really cute as a dress. Like that's genuinely what I thought it was in the beginning and I love it as one. How do you feel about um, the fit otherwise? Like on the top? I was actually really impressed because I thought it, because it was budget two and it wasn't necessarily our size, it was gonna be like super huge. And because I don't have like a ton of boobs to fill out a lot of the things that I see here, I'm really impressed with like how well it fits. I mean, it's definitely too big. And I love that this part is stretchy because super I feel like stretchy. it fits my top, yeah. which is an issue for me, mm -hmm. but it's not like, I'm not busting out of it. Oh, we forgot the jacket. I feel like this is our Mary Kate and Ashley moment right now. Like oh. I really love this. Oh my God, it really is. Yeah. Um, The jacket I do think is too big, especially on my arms if I go like that, but it's a denim jacket, so like, who cares? So I really love like the idea of this dress and I, I would wear it as a dress, maybe with like bike shorts underneath or something so that I wasn't gonna like expose myself to the world. But I think it's really cute. It isn't like the most flattering fit on me, but I didn't feel uncomfortable in it. And I thought like the whole look together with the yellow dress and the jean jacket, it was really cute. I felt really, really good in it. Because of my height though, it would not have worked as a dress on me. I was like real close to a booty flash in the fitting room, it was not pretty. But when we were trying on these outfits together, which as we mentioned, we were having like our Mary Kate and Ashley moment, like <laughs> full on, I thought that the jacket was perfect and I loved it. It looked great on you. Thank you. Also in the last collab, all the comments were about how we were just like hyping each other up the whole time. <laughs> and I just noticed that we're doing it again. It's so true. And it's just gonna keep happening because Carrie looked amazing. Thank and you so much, so did you. And the third outfit was my pick, really simple. I just went with this white floral ruffled dress in a one. So let's see how it went. What do you think? I, it's not my style again, but I think it's really pretty. Mm -hmm. I really love the flowy layers, the ruffles. I love the floral print. This is a very, I would feel like, uh, like a daytime summer wedding dress. Yes. You know? Yeah, totally. I think I'm uncomfortable with the amount of boob that's showing on me mm. and I even just pulled it up and it keeps like falling down because it is a really deep V. Do you think it is a little bit big? Like the waist isn't as tight as I would like it to be. So I think a zero would probably be a better fit for me in this dress. And I think just the, all the ruffles right here is kind of a lot of fabric and I think it is kind of swallowing up my figure. So it's not like emphasizing my curves as much as I would like except it's emphasizing the top too much. <laughs> Does that have adjustable straps? Good question, does it? It does, yep. Girls supporting girls so that my girls can be supported. Mm -hmm. I think that's all the problem. And now for me, my main issue is just, it's a really busy dress. Yeah, it's there's a lot going busy. on. Yeah. And this is when we figured out the pricing at Torrid. How much is this dress? Mm -hmm. Let's see. It is $80. So I think Carrie and I just had like a very rude awakening about the prices at Torrid. We didn't really pay attention to the prices while we were shopping. I assumed that things would be, you know, like mid-tier pricing, maybe, you know, 20 bucks for a shirt, 40 bucks for a pair of jeans. But uh, yeah, not the case. The kimono is how much? $70. Um, yellow shirt dress, how much was that one? 55. 55, and then this green shirt that we're trying on next, is 40 and then this swimsuit top which i think is so cute that we're trying on in a few 70 bucks for the swimsuit top it's cute it looks cute but it's not 80 dollars well, I mean, cute so much attention to size that like we didn't look at pricing at all whatsoever mm -hmm. and skylar just said the denim jacket itself was 70 dollars as well like that wow. i'm just i would never we were literally in the truest form shook usually brands who produce mostly standard size clothes and then plus size clothes in like a small minority of what they sell they have to upsell on those clothes because they aren't placing as high of orders for their plus size clothes, so therefore it's more expensive. Mm. But Torrid is only plus size. So I'm not sure why the prices are so high yeah. because it shouldn't really cost more to produce if their entire store 
is plus size. Totally. The next outfit was another choice of mine, and I kind of picked this with Sierra's style in mind. I saw this green top and I immediately gravitated towards it. I was like, Sierra would wear this. They only had it in a size one, which is a size 14. And then the jeans that I ended up picking out that I mentioned earlier in the video were the size 12, the only two size 12s that we could find. We figured since it was a plus size store that we should probably go with a 12 on like the smaller kind of end of what our sizes would be, just so that it would fit a little bit better. And this is how that went. So what do you think? I think it's cute. I mean, it's definitely the top isn't my size. I the jeans feel really good though. Yeah, yeah, and especially for a mid-rise, I'm not too into mid-rise jeans myself. They feel good. I'm surprised because they're a mid-rise jegging, which usually I would spill out over the top of, mm -hmm. or I would size up to the point where they were loose in my legs. Mm -hmm. And I feel like these fit perfect. I'm not spilling out, but they still, I feel held. Yeah. Like I feel secure. I feel supported. Yeah, I do. <laughs> and the shirt, um, this is a one X. I think I would definitely need a, a zero, maybe even a double zero just cause it, it doesn't look bad right now because no. it is meant to be loose fitting. But I think on you, you would only need, you would probably need two sizes down yeah. and I would only need one size. Yeah. 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 I just feel like it's interesting that we're wearing the same size because again, and this happened in the last video, I feel like it looks like I'm wearing a few sizes bigger than you because your body just carries weight differently than mine. Mm -hmm. I think the green shirt didn't look too big on me, mm -mm. especially because of my chest. I think it kind of helps a lot to not make things look so oversized, mm -hmm. but personally, I would have preferred a smaller size if they had it in yeah. store. I feel like these are so stretchy and soft, so good. which I love. I feel like they're just okay. They're not the best jeans I've ever tried on. I kind of had like, I think higher expectations. Mm -hmm. We did see some jeans that had like stretchy waistbands. And so I was hoping that like all of the jeans were gonna have stretchy waistbands, but it's, it's just a normal pair of jeans. There is something to be said for the fact that these are a size 12. If these were a size 12 in like mid-rise, say, old navy jeans or any other kind of brand, I don't really feel like we'd fit in a 12. Yeah, we I feel like 14. we might lean more 14. So, I mean, there might be something to be said for that. The jeans, I was like kind of hot and cold on because, you know, I'm just not a mid-rise person. And I know they had some high-rise jeans in store, but just not available in a 12. So maybe that's something that I would want to order online and try because I did like the fit mostly other than the rise. So in the spirit of summer being just around the corner, we decided that for our last outfits, we would choose swimsuits. So my pick, I was so excited when I saw this on the rack because it is like so my style. And this swimsuit, I got both the top and the bottom for us in a one, which is the equivalent of a 14. That was the smallest size that they had. So let's see how it went. I love this. I know you're not feeling like it as much as I do, but I am like- really cute. Thank, thank you. you. Well, how do you feel? I hate it. <laughs> I think it looks like I'm wearing my auntie's like swimsuit, like I needed to borrow one. And like, I I mean, we'll get there. <laughs> Sneak peek. So although I was obsessed with this bathing suit on Sierra, this is just not my style at all. I felt like I said in the clip, I was like wearing my auntie's bathing suit that I needed to borrow, like when I was on vacation at her summer house or something. The top on me was a disaster. I think I needed like three or four cup sizes smaller in that bathing suit. Well, and that's something that I think is interesting is that Tori didn't do their swimsuit tops by mm. bra size. They did it just like, you know, small, medium, large. And I think, especially for a plus size store, it would be great to have it in bra sizes where you can choose the band size and the cup size. Yeah, that was really surprising to me that they didn't have that option. Yeah, because just because someone's plus size doesn't mean that they have a big chest, like everyone's body is structured differently. Uh, see, okay, so for me, I, I've i been really into like swim skirts and swim dresses. I like that it is a little bit more modest because sometimes I like swimsuits that are cheeky and you know, cleavage out and all that, but sometimes I don't want to wear that and I want something a little bit more reserved. And I think this is really great for that while still being cute. And I don't think it looks like too mature for me. Like I think this still looks like young and fun. Yeah, and I think I agree. Good. I think you look really young and fun and cute in it. I Thank feel like you. I look like your weird aunt. So for my swimsuit pick, I chose kind of like a halter style mesh floral black number. I love black bathing suits and I knew that it was something that Sierra might not gravitate towards. So I thought, okay, we're gonna try on one that's more her style and one that's more my style. And for my swimsuit pick, I picked both of these sizes in a size one as well. They didn't have a size zero available and these were the only two sizes that they had the same one of. So this is how that went. The last swimsuit Carrie's pick. How do you feel? I think this is much more my style as we were saying and then you were saying that it's really not your style at all. Yeah, well, I, I think I look in the mirror and I think objectively this looks cute. Mm -hmm. I just think I never really like things that cut in like this. Okay. And then especially cause this, it looks like it's a separate top and yeah. like 
overlay, yeah. but it's all one piece, and I don't like these extra straps here. Yeah, it so, looks like we're wearing a bra underneath it. If these were gone and it was just the halter, yeah. I would like it better. We were both saying um, that, like, how just the straps, like, don't really add anything except extra support, which mm -hmm. I'm sure is necessary if you got big Yeah, ladies. you know, after you said that, now I'm kind of glad I have this, because this top does make me feel very supported. Yeah, me too. But I will say, it doesn't have nearly as much cup space as the first swimsuit. Right, which is probably why Do I like Do you fill this one out? Better. Yeah. Yeah, bottoms I love. Yeah, these are great. Love, love, love. Great, great coverage. And they've got the ruching down the middle, yep, which I always super love. Super flattering, I love that. It's mm -hmm. got a lot of butt coverage, so if you're not into like the cheeky yeah, style, it's really not popular show right now. Yeah. Cheek, which I don't like. <laughs> yeah, and the waist actually feels really good too. So yeah. for me, it's like sometimes you can wear high-waisted bikini bottoms that can be a little tight and constricting, and this feels great. Mm -hmm. I just love a ruched swimsuit bottom. Mm -hmm. I feel like it is so flattering I feel so comfortable and I just don't like the look of just one straight cut across bottom I'd yeah. like having some sort of like design element the top I thought was so cute the idea of it I just think it it wasn't my style mm -hmm. which is why it's so fun to try on each other's picks mm -hmm. because we have very different preferences very but true I, I thought it was pretty good okay wait now I think you need to buy that swimsuit because looking at you in the mirror I'm like that is doing everything for your body like your body so looks i mean your body always looks amazing but like do you think our bodies look more similar or more different i think this they one? look exactly the same when i look they the look mirror. okay but let me do your same pose you had one leg yep. out yeah i think our like bodies that, look very that's similar in this really wild right i'm yeah. getting flashbacks from our last video i know me too i was so interested in getting it but just the black straps were what really like canceled it for me i just couldn't do it, it just wasn't i just feel like it kind of ruined the bathing suit so overall my first time ever shopping at torrid i think they had some really cute styles yeah. but i did really struggle to find things in my size and i also really struggled with that price point mm. i would have to agree like the price point is something that i would personally like never pay for clothes that is just way too high for me and I I think it's really unfortunate that because it's like the most widely known plus size store that the prices are so high because it's not accessible to everyone. It's really not going to be something that's like in a comfortable price range for everyone that shops there. So that's just something that I thought was interesting about it. And overall the clothing selection, like I feel like they had a lot of different like dresses and shorts and kimonos and bathing suits, but none of them were really my style. It gave me kind of like a Charlotte Russe type of vibe. Like that was kind of the style that I felt like was like the dominant kind of overall vibe of the store and that's just not my style but they did have a lot of really cute options available so I mean it's kind of a toss-up for me it's it's a little bit higher price point than I would be comfortable spending and it's not exactly my style but there were really good pieces that I would consider buying so do you think you would shop there again I don't know I really want to go and delve more into like the jean sizes mm -hmm. and try a high-rise like we mentioned and maybe just kind of like explore a little more and try on a few more things but as of right now from this experience I don't think so I ended up purchasing two items well, I guess three technically because I purchased the top and bottom of the swimsuit I chose and the long shorts from the first outfit. Carrie didn't buy anything, but I, I'm really happy with the items that I did get, even though they were a little bit more than I would like to pay. But I think what I would be really interested in doing is ordering online from Torrid. Mm -hmm. Now that I know that I'm mostly a zero, but I also can wear a one at Torrid, I'm glad we finally got to try this. Me and I too. feel like I want to delve into more plus size stores yes. because I'm in between the two. And that's one of the benefits of being like a mid-sized girl is sometimes you can shop plus size and sometimes you can shop standard size. You got best of both worlds. We're like right hey, Montana. In the middle. <laughs> But let me know what you guys thought of our first like exploration into Torrid. Let me know down in the comments and make sure to head over to Carrie's video. We are doing a video that you guys are not gonna wanna miss. It has been so highly requested. We are trying all the different curvy jeans at a bunch of different stores. So make sure to click that card right up there somewhere and go to her channel, subscribe to her. She is a lovely person and we have so many other collabs we wanna do. So many, you guys, like the Daisy ship has sailed. Like we are going full steam ahead, so get ready. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time with another new video. Bye! Bye.